Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 25th of April. And we're looking at Batman Returns on the Commodore Amiga, a game which I've never actually played. So this will be a first, and uh, hopefully a good experience, because the SNES version of this game was absolutely bang on. Now, this was done by uh, Denton's, which actually became Denton Design a bit later on in their uh, career. So it'll be interesting to see what they've done with this game, because obviously other formats got this really quite spot on. Same sort of wispy type logo there that we're used to, that's always good. Um, bat signal, okay, but, oh, the, the text is quite hard to read, I don't know whether that's just an oversight, but I think that should have been white, that would have been a bit better. And it's really using such a small portion of the screen, it's actually quite hard to uh, to read that. Um, I think it should have been across the entire screen. That would have been a bit easier, but never mind, never mind. It's nice to have some sort of stills from the movie, I suppose. That's quite nice, so we actually know that we're associated with the movie. But the, uh, again, the, uh, the text there is quite hard to read. Let's hope that the game is better than the intro. That's quite nice. Quite nice, but again, tiny little bits of text. It's just weird. Maybe spun out a little bit too much as well. Is anything actually going to happen in this intro? I'm not really sure. It's quite long, isn't it? Ah, here we go. So we're going to get stuck into the game right now. I really like Batman uh, Returns on the snares. I thought it was a cracking game. It's actually been reviewed on the channel already, so if you want to have a look at that, then please feel free to go and check that out. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Alright, okay. Let's try and remain obje- <laughs> Oh dear. Let's try and remain uh, objective here. Oh dear god. Okay, well, this is really, really unresponsive. Uh, Batman runs like he's on- something. I mean, really, really fast. It's... Oh God, these controls are horrible. Okay, um... The control system is really, really unresponsive. I just punched that guy and I wasn't even facing him. I mean, that gives you an idea. What the holy hell is this? Oh dear. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I mean, Ocean had a really, really good Amiga version of uh, Batman the Movie. So why... What, what the hell happened here? This is really... I mean, no, normally if I find a game that's that's horrific, I tend not to want to review it, and I do tend to push those to the back of my queue. But you know what? I thought, what the hell? Let's, let's just do this one today. And, oh, oh I didn't realise it was going to be like this. Oh, dear. Um, that, I mean, it, it only barely resembles Batman... Oh, doesn't really resemble Batman much at all, does it? And this is stupid. I'm trying to jump over this guy. Oh, and... Right. So that's it. Oh, that's game over. Brilliant. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's restart that. Have another go. Let's see if we can get it any better this time around. I mean, graphically, it's crap, quite honestly. Um, that... I mean, I suppose the motorcycle things are alright, but they're going so fast you can't really gauge what they are. I mean, I mean, you know, they are in the movie, that's a positive. I didn't even kill them and they've disappeared. And what is happening here? I mean, look at the size of Batman compared to these guys. Are we, are we actually... is Batman beating up kids here? I mean, that's what it seems like. These guys are so small, it's like the local kindergarten just come out of, I'm Batman. He's just gonna just beat the hell out of children. These animations are horrible. The Amiga's so much better than this. It's you know can do so much better. It's able. It's a powerful piece of machinery that the Amiga and, and this is what they came out with. This is quite honestly an insult to any sort of Batman franchise. It's just horrible. 
really, really nasty. You can't even progress. You can't do anything until you've beaten up these little guys. And, and I'm, I'm killing them. I mean, I'm, well, I'm, I'm punching them when I'm standing the opposite direction from them. I mean, okay. The, the excuse could be that he's Batman. I mean, that's, that's a good enough reason for anything. Cool. But, oh, jeez, this is really, really hard to play, folks. Uh, control system, really, really horrible. You've got punch and kick, and then you get that bat batarang, I guess, which is a bit strange. Um, so you get this come down, you can equip it, you can use it, but it doesn't really do much. Yeah. And you've got limited ones as well, apparently, I think. So we're going to try and... I can't even shoot them at the guy. He's just absolutely caning me before I get a chance. Um, Audio-wise, there's nothing to write home about either. This game is total trash! Absolute poo! Um... Uh, did you guys ever play this game on the Amiga? What did you guys think? I mean, this reminds me a little bit of uh, a certain WWF game on the Amiga as well, which was a bit pants. European Rampage, I think, or something like that. UK Rampage. Um, equally as pants. But this is really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, this really should have been a Dungeon of Drax, shouldn't it? But never mind. Anyway, guys, um, I really can't play this anymore. It's rubbish. So uh, I will see you on the next review. Keep it retro, and I'll catch you next time. Uh, bye for now. <laughs>